Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Anyways, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net for all your tea sipping needs or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And please don't forget, we still have some holiday tea boxes left. Thank you guys so much to everybody who's caught one. They are selling like hotcakes. I truly appreciate it. We still have some left. So if you're interested, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Wendy Williams situation. So if you guys don't know, a lot of her fans have been really worried about her. They're stating that what initially happened is that, on, is that on Monday, she had played a show that had been previously re-aired. So that kind of had people worried because we all know Wendy Williams' show is shot live. And the fact that they were playing an old episode, people were like, okay, well, what's going on? So then she came to the show on Tuesday and basically let her audience know that she got a hairline fracture in her shoulder and that she had been in a lot of pain. So anyhow, she went on with Tuesday's show, Wednesday's show, and Thursday's show. And by Thursday, people were really concerned because she had been slurring her words. She was forgetting her lines. She was just looking crazy, so much so that somebody put together an entire compilation of her, you know, just acting kind of erratic on her show. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this compilation really quick. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Our first guests are an iconic hip-hop hip hip -hop trio. Black China. Is suing the Kardashians for getting her show canceled. She's blaming them because allegedly there are emails alleging that Chloe and Kylie leaked the emails alleging that allegedly <laughs> fake. Kylie is saying it's an alleged fake relationship. Do you think? And and even promised the Kardashians would film extra episodes to make up for the cancellation of the China and Black show. Like we'll do what you want. Very nice. All right, Latifah, we're gonna show you a celebrity photo and what you have to do. Latifah, can we have a conversation? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. I, I So you guys just saw the compilation. You guys also saw the tweets and the comments and, you know, folks just really genuinely concerned about what's going on with Wendy Williams, okay? So after this went viral, Wendy Williams took to Instagram. She basically posted the following message. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Wendy Williams says, to my Wendy watchers, I sincerely apologize if you feel like today's show was less than stellar. I'm on your TV screens every day wanting to spread laughter, entertainment, and cheer. As I reported earlier in the week, I have a hairline fracture on my upper arm, which hurts like hell. I've never broken a bone or experienced a fracture in my life. In the key place where the fracture is and trying to scurry around and do too much, I am now paying the price. I've never taken pain medication in my life except for when I got snatched over 20 years ago until this week. I did that to power through and try to deliver a great show to you against better judgment of many people around me who genuinely care for my well-being and really do ride or die for my craft, craft and give 200%. Not to mention that everyone is aware at this point about my thyroid condition, don't cry for me Argentina, for my fellow thyroid sufferers, you know what the deal is. And, and for those that don't, I encourage you to please read up. Needless to say, whatever today's performance was with the legendary The Locks, who said such nice who said such nice things, I have no regrets and I appreciate everyone's genuine concern for my wellness and care. I promise you a better Wendy in 2019. I will get some much needed rest and healing over the next couple weeks. Yes, I'm definitely juicing over the next couple weeks. Sorry again, I love you all and happy holidays. All right, so you guys just heard what Wendy Williams had to say. That's what she was explaining away, you know, her erratic behavior. She's saying that it's because of the pain medicines, because she had a hairline fracture and everything else. But now Love B. Scott is reporting some tea. He's saying that the real reason why Wendy is, you know, taking pills, it's not because of a hairline fracture. It's because her husband has gotten the mistress pregnant. 
Now, if you guys remember a year ago, I was speculating that the mistress was pregnant. There was more going on, you know, beneath the eye. Now, I don't know if the mistress ever had the baby, if she had a miscarriage. I'm not sure. But they're reporting that she's supposedly pregnant now and that that's what has Wendy Williams just kind of, you know, besides herself. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Love B. Scott had to say. Check this out. So B. Scott says, as rumors of declining health begin to circulate online, people close to Wendy suspect that she's self-medicating. The staff is routinely having to adjust her wavering health issues, not walking out from the not walking out for the beginning of the show, zoning out at times during segments, etc. They're embarrassed about the whole situation. Speaking of situations, do you remember the big scandal involving Wendy Williams' husband and his alleged mistress that's living down the street from their New Jersey home? Well, our sources say she might be pregnant. She's allegedly pregnant and still being kept in the home minutes away from their home. I was told that word around the show is that they're going to divorce after little Kevin goes off to college. We know there's a lot of speculation going on here. Ultimately, we want Wendy to take care of herself, but it's clear that something's going on. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what's coming from Love B. Scott. And, you know, a few other outlets are also reporting this as well. I would not be surprised at all. Something as you know what she's going through with the infidelity and the baby on the way That's enough to put stress on any female. I don't care who you are So I definitely feel bad for her and if she's feeling that you know self-medicating with pills is gonna help her situation It's definitely not it's not gonna stop this woman's pregnancy if she is pregnant It's not gonna you know help her marriage all it's doing is affecting her and her show So I don't know if it's because of her shoulder issue or if it's because you know this woman is pregnant and It's stressing her out. I don't know where the truth lies Maybe it's somewhere in between because it's really disturbing to watch her you know stutter zone off and basically you know drop the ball during her show so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning wendy williams she's saying that her erratic behavior is because she's on pain meds for her shoulder other sources like love b scott are saying it's because the damn side chick aka the mistress up the street from her damn house is knocked up by her damn husband okay so anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss Gay! <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.